Welcome back to Game Room Theater, guys. In this video, I'm not actually not going to be in the theater room uh, much at all. Uh, and I wanted to talk about something very, very nice as an option that's come up. So if you guys recall, a few years ago, I built my own DIY sports ticker. As you can see here, it's a gorgeous looking device. It's definitely a bit involved. You got to deal with some guts and electronics and a PC to run it off of and configure all of that. Cost about 350 bucks. The reason why I ended up building this guys was simply because I didn't want to pay, you know, subscription fees of 20 to $50 for a real sports ticker that you kind of see in the bars, the really long ones, and um, not be able to control what can be displayed on it. And then um, secondly, I didn't really feel like paying 700 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 2,000 bucks for something that is really just an accessory piece to accessorize your man cave or game room um, to mimic that feeling that you're sitting in a sports bar or something. So anyway, what I really, really am pleased to share with you guys is a amazing cheap alternative that just simply works and you don't need any kind of technical know-how to actually get it to work. And here it is guys. So this particular one is the smaller version that sells for 150 bucks. Here's my hand for reference. And here is the bigger one. And here's my hand for reference. And this one, that one sells for 250 bucks. So I'll have links to it in, in the description of the video guys, but I'm gonna go through some of the details of what this actually does and uh, what purpose it serves. So first off, what is this thing? This thing basically is a scrolling ticker. Um, you know, basically you can choose any league that you want. There's NBA, NHL, NFL, college sports, uh, Premier League, uh, soccer, La Liga, uh, all kinds of things, uh, racing. You, you know, you can kind of, I'll go through some of the uh, other leagues uh, very shortly once I share my screen on how to set this up but but guys it just simply is a plug-and-play and it works so what I've done in this particular one is I chose all of the NBA teams uh, you know anything that's live right now is showing the actual score and then uh, it'll keep scrolling through the entire league and then it'll I've also selected uh, NHL and MLB games so anything that might have completed in the past um, and where it currently stands. So right now it's still going through um, all of the NBA games. Um, same thing that I've done on the bigger one just to kind of demonstrate, you know, it's going through NHL games. Uh, or you can just keep it static on the one game that you're watching um, just for really theatrics. It's probably not particularly useful in that uh, case or scenario because Typically when you're watching any sports, the uh, on the top right or at the bottom, you'll actually see the the, the, the time that's left in the game and, and that sort of thing. It just looks really neat because, you know, what I'm going for and what may, you may be going for is the whole theatrics of recreating that stadium feeling, just craziness going on, right? So this, this accessory is just absolutely perfect for something like that. So, so from a setup perspective, you simply plug this in. I'll show you guys what it looks like from behind. Simply just plug it in. It's got a MAC address um, that you need to keep very private. And then secondly, you, you basically connect to it directly uh, to Wi-Fi with your phone. And you open up uh, the page and, um, and, and basically get it to connect to your Wi-Fi. Once that's done, you take the MAC address and you go to their web page and you can select, and I'll go through that very shortly here, you can select whichever uh, things that you want displayed. It's literally as simple as that. There's no other outside gimmicks. You know, say you're tired of this, um, you don't wanna waste electricity, you can put this on a smart switch, which is what I've done there. So when that TV turns on, that turns on. When that TV turns off, that turns off. Um, or you simply press this button to turn it off. If you wanna turn it back on, it remembers, the, it, it basically connects to the server and uh, syncs up again to whatever setting you had last. So you don't need to open up the web page all over again and do anything again if you really don't care for 
um, any specific changes that needed to be made. So guys, for the sake of simplicity, I've actually opened up my laptop so it's a bit easier to see, but you can easily do this by opening a web page on your phone. So you never really need to reach for your laptop, but um, here's how it kind of works. So if you wanted to see stock, so you've got basically many multiple options. You could see 15, 16 different options of choosing different uh, combinations of things that you, you may care for. So let, let's just say this first row, um, you wanted certain stocks. Um, you could search for the stock. There's thousands and thousands of stocks, or top gainers, top losers. I mean, this is just, uh, I'm just gonna scratch the surface here, but kind of, you can kind of see what's going on. Um, so you can leave the first one as stocks and you chose whatever stocks that you wanted. Um, for the second one, you can say you wanted crypto. Uh, you can click crypto and then same kind of idea. Top gainers, losers, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different crypto uh, currencies that will automatically start updating. Same with NFT. I won't go through that. Uh, but let's just say you chose the second one as uh, crypto. Third, you wanted, um, you wanted a certain teams that you follow um, or you want to you want to show all NFL games or all top uh, CFB games or NBA games uh, NHL games it just the, the list keeps going and going and going so there's lots and lots of different options um, so I won't go through all of them here but um, you know let's just say for the next one I want to choose particular teams that I want to follow so as you can see, NFL, NBA, you know, if you want to, if I wanted Toronto teams, I simply just type in T-O-R and as you can see, you know, uh, Toronto Blue Jays, Toronto Maple Leafs, um, Raptors are likely right below it here, Predators, there you go, Raptors, and then it'll just display um, Raptors specific, like, you know, if there's no game on right now, um, say the Raptors are playing, it won't, it won't display the actual, um, they, it, it'll basically display a past game um, and then it'll also count down to um, upcoming games. So after a certain period of time, an upcoming game and a countdown to the, to the time of that game. So, um, you know, so on and so forth. You can keep going and going and going. What I, what I really like doing is just instead of team, like, you know, instead of just picking teams, I really find the the game aspect of it um, really useful. Meaning, you know, choosing all league games like all uh, MLB or all uh, NHL as a, on another line. So that's how I typically set mine up. There are more options down here. Let me just scroll through a little bit more. Um, you know, you can you can get it, you can add weather to it. You know, you put your postal code in or zip code in. Uh, you want the cheapest gas station near you based on off of that postal code, you know, which drives the weather as well. Mega Millions, Powerball, you want world news scrolling through, you can do that. Um, clock, and say you've got a YouTube channel, you want to view real-time information from there, uh, or your TikTok, or uh, your Twitter, and Things are constantly going to be work, guys. Uh, I've talked to the developer quite a bit, and he is very active. He's he's legally obtained all of this information, and one of the biggest things out of all this, guys, you're not paying any kind of subscription fees. This is all legally obtained data um, uh, that is uh, being fed to these devices. So you, it's not something you need to worry about. Um, lastly, countdown, you know, you can put whatever you want um, text-wise and countdown to an anniversary, a birthday, or whatever. Um, free text is uh, self-explanatory and you want certain messages to appear here, you can, uh, you can add that. So once again, this is Wi-Fi connected, so you don't even have to be home. You can be away and, uh, and, and put certain uh, messages up if you, if you wanted to. LED brightness, you know, self-explanatory again. You know, I typically have it at one. So currently it is at one and I find it plenty bright. It uses minimal power as well. It doesn't feel like it's blowtorch mode, but you can certainly change that. And then if you were to turn it off and then on, it will synchronize with the server again with whatever you've already picked and it'll synchronize even the brightness, so which is great. But once again, lots and lots of things are constantly gonna be updated on this. So standing back a little bit, let me go back uh, even further. 
I mean, I am about 30 feet away, and to my eyes, I can read that perfectly fine. I can get about 20 feet uh, or so away from the smaller one, and it's perfectly readable as well. So um, what I'll actually be doing is I'll be placing this in my office setup upstairs. I'm going to be leaving that uh, exactly where it is. I really like the craziness of the stadium feel with stuff going on around you and advertising and just, just the atmosphere and ambience that that creates. I mean, this just added to it. So this will actually serve an even more important purpose because it'll, it'll be my stock ticker and my Bitcoin uh, ticker as well as weather and, uh, and, and just some game updates, countdowns to the next uh, sporting events that are going to be happening for the leagues that I, that I choose. So uh, I also like the fact that the developer is extremely active, very responsive and constantly adding features as well. So I, I'm looking forward to what the next year brings with these, but uh, guys, I highly recommend it. So I've worked with uh, the folks at uh, Glance LED to offer you guys exclusively to my followers a 10% discount if you were to purchase this through my link uh, below in the, in the description of this video. So you'll get 10% off of the $150 one and 10% uh, and off on the $250 one. So, you know, this is not bad at all uh, for 135 bucks. Um, uh, there's worse ways to spend money guys so this is this is great signage that's completely hands-free and connected that you don't have to mess with but uh, if you do want to mess with things then of course you can watch my video on my DIY ticker from a couple of years ago so it is let me just say it's not completely for the faint of heart but uh, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna be doing some more updates uh, to the man cave in the near future. There's lots of changes planned for 2023 that uh, hope, I hope you can take some inspiration from and, uh, and, and upgrade some of the things in your personal space. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, please do subscribe, share this video, like this video, and I'll uh, get with you guys again very soon.